You're listening to the Future Tech Podcast with Richard Jacobs. Future technologies such as artificial intelligence, stem cells, 3D printing, gene editing, Bitcoin, blockchain, the microbiome, quantum computing, virtual reality, and exploring space are much closer than you might think. In fact, many early versions of these technologies are in play right now, and the companies that are using these technologies are the focus of this podcast. My goal for you, the listener, is to learn from these podcasts. You may very well learn something that may change the course of your life for the better, steer you towards a new career, or give you insight into addressing a thorny medical problem. Remember, this podcast and its content is informational in nature only. No medical, tax, legal, financial, or psychological advice is being given. If you've enjoyed the podcast, please listen, subscribe, like, and tell your friends about it. Thank you. Hello, this is Richard Jacobs with the Future Tech and Future Tech Health Podcast. Today, I'm just going to be giving you some of my thoughts, um, what I've learned from doing 1,800 plus podcasts, and that's not an exaggeration. Uh, In October, it'll be three years for the Future Tech Podcast, and uh, the goal is to get to uh, about 2,200 podcasts by that time. Well, fine, that's, that's just the number, who cares? But uh, people ask me actually quite often, what, why do you do this and what do you get from doing it? So I got a couple of stories for you. Uh, one will be directly related, one's a little bit ancillary. But first story is um, I tend to pick industries that have to do with near-term future technologies that I'm interested in and I think listeners will be interested in. Things that can seem futuristic to some people like AI or 3D printing or, you know, quantum computing, stem cells, uh, Bitcoin, you know, that kind of stuff. That's, that's what first got my interest going to do this podcast. So what I've noticed is that um, when I go into an industry, it takes me a while to find my feet. You know, if you've listened to the podcast I've done in any given industry, you'll hear at first that, you know, I probably don't ask very good questions. And um, I ask, type, you know, generic type stuff at the beginning. But as I do the podcasts and I get, you know, through 10, 20, 30 of them, I really start to get a handle on a given industry. I learn the lingo. I'm able to ask better questions. And I can hear it from guests. Oh, good question. Or, oh, I haven't thought about that. Uh, so I hear that more and more as I get into an industry. And what happens is once I get to, and not every industry I've done this for, but once I get to the 100 interview mark and beyond, I really start to get a good idea of where all the players are in an industry, who's doing what. It's as if I have a 10,000 foot or 30,000 foot view and I can look down upon all the people in an industry or some of the people in the industry, but see where they're going. Oh, these companies are going in this direction. These companies are focusing on this, etc. So that's one insight I've gotten. Another one is that, um, and I've spoken about this once before, in any industry, I see that 95% of the people, uh, they do good enough to have their credentials and to do a decent job. And then about 4% go beyond that and they try to be really good at what they do. And then you get to the 1% that's left. And those are the true experts. Those are the ones where they tell me things and I say, wow, I never heard about this stuff before. Or, that's, that's crazy. You know, they, they're just operating on another level, literally. This is, um, these are the top people. And it takes me, I've noticed, you know, between... 30 to 100 interviews in a given industry to find these experts and I love it when I do and I can usually hear within 5 or 10 minutes of talking to them I'm like well I found this person they're one of the experts great Um, so that's one thing I've noticed from from doing these podcasts I've uh, a lot of the information I've gotten I've used to help myself health wise I've used to help my family Um, I've been able to uh, let friends and family know about some of the things I've discovered And I've been able to make connections between peoples and industries. Um, You know, I spoke to one lady that uh, is trying to use DNA to make uh, nanostructures, you know, nanomachines. And then a day later, literally, I spoke to a guy that's trying to do the same thing. But instead of with DNA, with inorganic molecules. So I connected them. They may work together. They may not. Who knows? But I've been able to do that by going deep into these industries. I've noticed that... um, some of the largest companies that I've dealt with, um, I tend to get less information from. 
unfortunately, because, um, you know, they have to be careful about what they say, which is understandable. I've noticed that uh, some people in the industry that are the true experts may not be the best marketers of what they do. So unfortunately, even though they have amazing knowledge, they're kind of um, more in the backwaters and not in the forefront as I think they should be. So these are some of the things I've noticed. Uh, I've gotten a lot of intelligence about a lot of industries. And um, a point of pride, actually, is when someone in the industry says, oh, are you a doctor? Are you a lawyer? Are you a this or that? And I say, no, I'm none of those things. Um, but I sound like one because I've interviewed so many people within a given industry. And that makes me feel good, you know, for whatever it's worth. But another thing it's taught me is that no matter what industry you look at, let, let's say you want to learn something. Uh, I don't care what industry it is. Let's say you want to learn uh, nuclear physics, okay? It may seem daunting to you, but I can tell you from my experience having done this many, many times is even if you know nothing about a given industry, talk to people in that industry, listen to podcasts in that industry, read books, etc. At first, you may have to look up every other word. At first, you may only understand 5% of what you read or see. But pretty quickly, if you keep at it, if you listen to 20, 30 podcasts, or if you do 20, 30 interviews, or you read 20, 30 books, you'll pick up the language and it'll start to make sense to you. And you'll start to really get into it. And you'll have this epiphany where you're understanding more and more and getting more insights. And eventually you'll become pretty good. So I don't care what your educational background is. I don't care what your ability is. Everyone, I believe, if they want to, they can get really knowledgeable and really good about anything. So don't think, oh, I don't, I don't have a degree in physics. I'll never understand this. Or I just uh, went to school for this 20 years ago. I don't remember any of it. Have faith. I've known it. I've been able to do it. Um, again, I don't have expertise in all these industries I'm, I'm interviewing at all. I get it, again, just by talking to people and reading and learning and thinking. So I just want to point that out to everyone listening, that uh, you can learn anything. And don't let anyone tell you you can't. Don't let uh, yourself limit... Don't limit yourself by self-talk thinking, oh, I'm just not cut out for this or I can't understand the math or whatever it is. You, you literally can learn anything. That's, that's a big thing that I've learned. So this is some of the lessons I've gotten from, from podcasting. I've made a lot of friends. Um, I've been able to collaborate and talk to all kinds of amazing people, people I never thought would, would speak to me. But because of this podcast platform, uh, they've done so. I've gone to conferences uh, based on some of the industries that I've interviewed. And again, I've made great friends. And I've just gotten a great appreciation for what's going on in the world. All the amazing things that people are thinking about and doing and experimenting with. And it's just incredible what uh, what people are doing. It's uh, the thing I love doing most. Uh, it makes me super happy. And I hope that you as a listener uh, are really enjoying the podcast. You know, you pick ones you like. Uh, if you want to go deeper, search for the other ones I've done in a given industry. And uh, if you want to ask questions, actually, I've never asked, and I, you know, I apologize for that, but anyone that has questions, you can always email support at futuretechpodcast.com. If there's a guest you want, if there's a guest you want to refer, if you want to give feedback, uh, go ahead and email us, and uh, you know, I'll try to personally respond to everything, and I'd love to hear from you, and thank you for listening. You're listening to the Future Tech Podcast with Richard Jacobs. Future technologies such as artificial intelligence, stem cells, 3D printing, gene editing, Bitcoin, blockchain, the microbiome, quantum computing, virtual reality, and exploring space are much closer than you might think. In fact, many early versions of these technologies are in play right now, and the companies that are using these technologies are the focus of this podcast. My goal for you, the listener, is to learn from these podcasts. You may very well learn something that may change the course of your life for the better, steer you towards a new career, or give you insight into addressing a thorny medical problem. Remember, this podcast and its content is informational in nature only. No medical, tax, legal, financial, or psychological advice is being given. If you enjoyed the podcast, please listen, subscribe, like, and tell your friends about it. Thank you. Thank you.